Well, how's it going, YouTube? And uh, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, I need to get back to mowing the rest of the yard. I got the whole, I got half of it done. Um, taking a little break. But what I want to do is I want to cut down, yeah, that's right, that's a saw. I want to cut down a pear tree. Actually useful. It was actually a useful pear tree would be cut down, but a, a damn Bradford pear. Bradford pears, the weediest tree, the most useful tree, and it's like a a, a a fruitless fruit tree. It's a fruitless fruit tree, and people plant them because they love the flowers and all that other stuff. You you want flowers? Just plant a real pear, and guess what? You've got fruit. Uh, but the birds love eating them and they love spreading along the fence and uh, yeah, in the no zone sometimes you have stuff that you don't want, including this big old. Bradford pear right behind me. Uh, but what I'm going to do with it is uh, one of you subscribers left an awesome message, a really good tip. And um, it's so, something I've used before. I've used this technique for perches for birds to poop out useful stuff like raspberries, blackberries, black cherries, mulberries, whatever they're eating other than uh, Bradford pears. And uh, what it is is you cut some branches off of a tree or even take a dead tree and uh, you use that as a trellis or a perch and uh, that was in response to my video about my uh, the oldest known squash and uh, how they're going to be growing up over the they're going to be taking over my garden uh, so just to get them up off the ground a little bit I'm going to cut this tree down and uh, not the whole thing some of these big branches in here you can see I want to probably take it right about here right about there and maybe take that one right there also too because uh, I need about three or four good ones and uh, oh blackberry got me so yeah so I need about three or four good ones and uh, start cutting these guys down enough to get started I think well, I got him here I just kind of need to make him a little bit more manageable I got three of them. I mean, they're sturdy enough, they're really not going to go anywhere, but if there's enough weight on these branches, they'll bend over. 
Uh, but I just thought it'd be cool to kind of have them come up over it and have some some little squash hanging hanging underneath it. You know, they they naturally grow up trees anyways, so I don't have any trees in my garden, so to speak, uh, other than the cherry trees, so why not cut some little trees down and use them as trellises if they like it so much? Uh, because these guys are just blowing up. Uh, yeah, they're just, they're gonna be taken over. And it's nice to take them, take them up, up off the ground a little bit. And I uh, like this one here. This one here is really good. And I got a little guy already starting to kind of come up there. So, we'll see, we'll keep an eye on it. I might have to replace them with some stronger stuff like some cherry or something that grows a little bit more straight up instead of really wide branches. But, uh, but yeah, using branches from a Bradford pear trellis the squash up. So, keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching.